All right, it's card of the day, and this is card number 249, titled Ben Kenobi, Alec Guinness. So let's learn more about Alec Guinness. Although Alec Guinness disliked the fame that followed work he did not hold in high esteem, George Lucas and fellow cast members Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Kenny Baker, Anthony Daniels, and Carrie Fisher have spoken highly of his courtesy and professionalism on and off the set. Lucas credited him with inspiring cast and crew to work harder, saying that Guinness contributed significantly to achieving completion of the filming. Guinness was quoted as saying that the royalties he obtained from working on the films gave him no complaints. Let me leave it by saying I can live for the rest of my life in the reasonably modest way I am now used to. That I have no debts and I can afford to refuse work that doesn't appeal to me. In his autobiography, Blessings in Disguise, Guinness tells an imaginary interviewer Blessed Be Star Wars regarding the income it provided. Guinness appeared in the film's sequels, The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi as a forced ghost apparition to the trilogy's main character, Luke Skywalker. In 2003, Obi-Wan Kenobi as portrayed by Guinness was selected as the 37th greatest hero in cinema history by the American Film Institute. Digitally altered archival audio of Guinness's voice was used in the films The Force Awakens and The Rise of Skywalker. In the films, sound editors took a recording of Guinness saying the word afraid in the original film and isolated the middle red syllable so as to address the main character of the sequel trilogy, Ray. Alec Guinness was reluctant to appear on television but accepted the part of George Smiley in the serialization of John Le Carre's Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy after meeting the author. Guinness reprised the role in Smiley's People and twice won the British Academy Television Award for Best Actor for his portrayal of the character. He received another nomination for Best Actor for his role in Monsignor Quixote in 1987. One of Guinness's last appearances was in the BBC drama Eskimo Day in 1996. Alec Guinness won the Academy Award for Best Actor and the BAFTA Award for Best Actor in 1957 for his role in The Bridge on the River Kwai after having been unsuccessfully nominated for an Oscar in 1952 for his performance in The Lavender Hill Mob. He was nominated in 1958 for the Academy Award for Best Writing, screenplay based on material from another medium, for his screenplay adapted from Joyce Carey's novel The Horse's Mouth. He was nominated for Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role as Obi-Wan Kenobi in Star Star Wars. He received an Academy Honorary Award for Lifetime Achievement in 1980. In 1988, he received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor for Little Dorrit. He received the BAFTA Academy Fellowship Award for Lifetime Achievement in 1989. For his theater work, he received an Evening Standard Award for his performance as T.E. Lawrence in Ross and a Tony Award for his Broadway turn as Dylan Thomas in Dylan. Guinness received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 1559 Vine Street. Guinness was appointed Commander of the Order of the British Empire in the 1955 Birthday Honors, Knight Bachelor in the 1959 New Year Honors, and Companion of Honor in the 1994 Birthday Honors for Services to Drama. In 1991, he received an honorary doctorate from Cambridge University. Alec Guinness had been diagnosed with prostate cancer in February 2000 and with liver cancer. He died on the night of August 5, 2000.